Hi, I'm Rob Griffith, Manager of Technical Support at Newmark. Today, I'm going to take you through how to set up your new IGJ3 on Mac or PC. If you're using a Macintosh, you'll also need to install the IDJ3 hardware drivers before connecting it to your computer for the first time. Insert the CD that came with your IDJ3 into your computer's CD drive. We'll use this to install both the IDJ3 hardware drivers and the included DJ software. Double click the CD and navigate to the driver installation folder for the Macintosh drivers. Double click the driver disk image to mount it to your desktop. You'll see an extra icon on your desktop shortly. It should automatically open, and you'll see a package that looks like this inside. Double click to begin the driver installation. You can follow the on screen instructions, essentially clicking continue, yes, or allow as we go through the prompts. Click on your computer's main hard drive if you have two drives. That's where you'll want to install the drivers for the IDJ3. Click Continue, then Install. You'll be asked for your computer's password. Enter it now, and click OK to continue. Once the installation is complete, you'll need to restart your computer. When prompted, click the Restart button. Your computer will restart. Once it's fully up and running again, we'll install the DJ software. Once you've installed the IDJ3 hardware drivers, installing the included DJ software on the Macintosh is easy. Double click the CD and navigate to the Cross IDJ3 installer for the Mac. Double click it to mount it on your desktop. Agree to the software license agreement and soon you'll see a new icon on your desktop which should open automatically revealing the application. Installing it is easy. Simply click the cross IDJ3 icon and drag it from here to here and release the mouse. Cross IDJ3 will copy to your Mac's Applications folder. Navigating to the Applications folder can be done using the Go menu at the top of the screen. Before you launch the software, connect your IDJ3 to a USB port on your computer so the software can automatically recognize the controller when it launches. Locate and double click the cross IDJ3 application to begin. The first time you launch the software, you'll be asked to enter your license key. This can be found on the CD sleeve. Let's take a moment to get acquainted with the software. As long as the IDJ3 is connected to a USB port on your computer when you launch Mixvibes Cross, you won't have any setup to do at all. All of the knobs, and all of the sliders and buttons will be pre-mapped to the knobs, sliders, and buttons in the software. Connect a set of powered speakers or a PA system to the outputs, and connect a set of headphones to the headphone outputs, and you're ready to go. Mixvibes Cross maintains a database of music on your computer. This is called the collection. To add music to your collection, go to the File menu, choose Import, and then Directory. The most common place for music to be found on your Macintosh is in your Home folder, Music, iTunes, iTunes Music. Click Choose to import all of the music in this directory. Any compatible files which are found will be instantly available in Mixvibes Cross. Mixvibes Cross also integrates seamlessly with iTunes. You'll find an iTunes icon in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Any music or playlists you have in iTunes will be instantly synced with Mixvibes Cross and are available here. Type the name of any song or artist into the search box to narrow your results. As long as the cursor is in the browser section in the middle of the screen, you can use the Browse button on the IDJ3 to select and load a track to either Deck A or Deck B. Once you have a song loaded, simply raise the fader, move the cross fader, and hit play to begin. We've got equalizers, basement and treble, frequency kill switches, and you can scratch. You can also add an iPod. Music playing on the iPod will come in on the center channel.
or you can record the main output of your IGJ3 using the voice memo feature built into most iPods. If you have the optional DC power adapter connected to your IGJ3, it'll also charge your iPod. Put all of these features together and you have a really powerful computer-based DJ system. For more information or additional product support, visit newmark.com slash IDJ3.